Good morning. Oh, I better take this off. Of course, the copyright police probably can't. Now maybe they might catch it. Just straight drums, I think I could get busted. <clears throat> 9th of December, just getting rolling, folks. It's a little late, you know. Um, been getting up early, mostly, but today I got up, it's, almost, it's 10. Um, so I guess I needed to do that. I was playing uh, Osibisa. Um, still, um, when, when, when things, good things happen, well, when, th when things happen, period, they resonate for a while. So getting to finally meet and talk to Richard um, Barbieri, who's been a very important um, musician for me for decades, is still resonating in my thoughts. And so I pulled this. It was really cool to hear that Japan, the band Japan, had opened or played shows with Osibisa, uh, the African band that um, made some noise back in the 70s, trying to bridge the gap between um, cultures. And um, wonderful Roger Dean album cover that was a real um, gesture of, um, I say it's a gesture of respect from the company and the people who were promoting the band to try to uh, give them a um, platform to be seen from is what I'm saying. A, a Roger Dean cover back at that time was a per was a wonderful idea and I do think that it helped. 1971 is when this album came out. So folks, how y'all doing? It's almost the weekend. And I'm doing well. Hello, Stephanie. Hello, Karin. Hello, Adrian. Twins. Hello, Richard, if you happen to see this one. You know, I'm, I'm, I love the fact that he, he watches my videos. And all the other folks who are watching, then I'm surprised, you know. Or rather, I shouldn't be surprised. But it's like, how cool these folks watch me. Very cool. Greetings. So I'm not the town crier, but I do speak about things about musicians that that are important to me personally. So not all music musician deaths are going to be um, spoken of by me. Not all, but the ones that I speak of are. I'll be thinking, yeah, this is personal. There's a personal reason to do it. And also because you, you probably won't hear too many other folks in the BC or on the internet talking about these people. So, did I put them? Oh, there it is. So we get word yesterday that Jet Black, the, dr the original drummer from The Stranglers, has passed away. I knew he was that old. He was 84. I knew all along, being a, a, a fan of The Stranglers, that Jet Black was the old cat in the group. I immediately played this yesterday. Love this album. M my introduction to the band. Um, the um, infamous version here, black and white. I remember reading about them in um, the music press over in England because they got lumped in <clears throat> with punk, but they were never a punk band, you know. They weren't. They um, went ahead and, I would say, from my perspective here in, in, in the U.S., it appears that the, the Stranglers went ahead and took advantage of the... I don't know if they took advantage, but they got lumped in with punk because of their aggressive attitude and their look. And it helped. It helped them to find an audience. I never saw them as a punk rock band. Seriously, never. I don't have all their albums. Um, no More Heroes I don't have. I have Radis Norvigicus. Again, the early good stuff. Good stuff. Jet Black, to me, stood out as a drummer. Dreamtime. I love this album very much. Um, there's an Australian thing going on here with the, uh, the rhythms and stuff. I like this album a lot. But what I was about to say about Jet Black is that 
his drumming drumming was straight ahead, but it was it was um, identifiable. I can tell I can tell it's Jet Black playing that beat. That's a good drummer. I think um, from my ears, his way of playing the beats was central to the music of the Stranglers. I love them. Paradise. The other thing I like about the Stranglers, Stranglers is that I sensed early on that they were just a rock band. Pop band. Rock. Pop band. Not a punk band. They made great singles. Have some more. Let me see what else I have here. I don't have a dedicated... Um, just try to... Got a few more things here. Got a few more things. I've got some singles too, because I back in the day in the late 70s and the early 80s when I was buying um, a lot in the shops, I picked up their singles. I'm looking to see if he's on this. This is um, Dave Greenfield, the other original member of Stranglers who passed away uh, not long ago. He and JJ, JJ Brunel made this really rather strange um, album, Fire and Water. I don't know if um, Jet Black is on here. I don't see the credits on it. But the other Stranglers albums I have are Oral Sculpture. This is a good one. I bought it when it first came out, so I had it with the extra single. Sold it, but I did keep the single, and this is a replacement copy. I've done that a lot, and when I look back and look at what records I've sold, it's like it, it's kind of like, what? Why did it... <laughs> Probably my favorite of them, The Raven. A lot of people talk about The Raven. I don't have that anymore. I did have The Lenticular. That's an example. Why did I sell it? I like these guys. But this is probably my favorite by them, and probably have played this all the way through more than any of the others. The Men in Black. Always found it interesting that the Stranglers never got any crossover from the movie The Men in Black. They didn't have any music in it, but still, the, the, the mention, The Men in Black never any cross reference sweet smell of success I think he, yeah he was still in the band here's a cool um, EP from Japan don't bring Harry and some live stuff right I haven't played this in a while really like the stranglers and I like Dave Greenfield's um, keyboards Here's my other top Stranglers album, Feline. Mo almost every song in here is excellent. This is an excellent pop album. Nothing to do with punk at all. Excellent album, Feline. And one more, 12 inch single, No Mercy. I'll ha I have some singles, I'll show them, but right quick, I saw in the comments, I didn't know, I um, haven't listened to these guys for a while, so I'm going to. But apparently one of the main people from the band, um, Morpheus, has passed away. Bruce Arnold. And um, I haven't played this in a while, so I can't talk about it um, with any authority this morning, except that I know that it came from the East Coast when there was this Boss Town um, sound promotion going on back in the day. When they were pushing bands like Orpheus, Ultimate Spinach, and others, this was one of the bands. Good band. Uh, I think there's some connections also to, to Canada, possibly. Some of the musicians. So I have pulled those to show and say rest in peace, um, Bruce. And to give them a listen. Mm. Cheers. So, I just, I don't have all the singles, they put out a bunch, but I, these are the singles of theirs that I still have. Duchess, great song. And uh, Silly Videos, they put out some pretty silly videos too. Great song. Nuclear Device. And their B-sides, like this one, Yellow Cake UF. Their, their B-sides are... Um, 
were, were they, they're still going, but I'm saying were in relation to the fact of Jet Black and Dave Greenfield being gone. Their string, singles were consistently interesting and good. Excellent song, Don't Bring Harry. Really cool song. Really, I like all these songs. Bear Cage. And then the B-side, Sha Sha A Go Go. <laughs> Come on, these guys were great. Hugh Cornwell, I loved him as a lead as a lead man. It was interesting how they were able to survive him leaving the band and actually go on to continued success. But I love Hugh Cornwell's voice. Here's a great single by the Stranglers. Who wants the world? Backed with the men in black, waiting for him. This is the, this is uh, the kind of single that I love, where it's like, well, you just can't play the A side. You got to play both sides. And a lot of times it would be like where I would put it on repeat because I just like it so much. This one I didn't couldn't find it with a um, a picture sleeve. Five minutes with Rocket to the Moon. Stranglers. And this is, I think, possibly their biggest hit. Potentially their biggest hit. The song about um, Hugh Cornwell's heroin addiction, Golden Brown. If you haven't heard this, it's, it's beautiful and one of those, it's like a classic. It is a classic song. It is. It, 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 it's, it's not recognized by the, the what I call the mainstream um, music industry I didn't see any mention of um, Jet Black except for in The Guardian, nothing in the Rolling Stone, Pitchfork, not that I'm going to look and see if he even gets a mention today, now that to me is is criminal come on people, I haven't checked yet but because I, I, li I like to check music um, um, daily just like nothing on earth Yes, I can hear it in my hand, head. Another great single, Skin Deep. Stranglers. Stranglers also did this, where they put out a couple singles, I just have one of them, where they were the backing band, but they took on a, another name, Celia and the Mut Mutations. This is the Stranglers backing this woman, and that, you can see that's them in the picture. Doing Money Money by Tommy James. This single, I believe, came with an album, I think. A, a U.S. release of one of their albums. This is a Do the European. I got it separately from the album, so I don't remember which album this one comes from. Hugh Cornwell and Robert Williams, who was uh, with Captain Beefheart doing White Room. And that album by Cornwell, Nosferatu, is great. Three more, four more, four more singles. Strange Little Girl, again, the Stranglers showing how they just have this knack for writing great singles, and even now and even better than that one, The European Female. Slightly trashed, um, the cover, thanks to my um, former cats. Thrown Away, once again, Men in Black, that's a top album for me. All the songs in the album are just great. And the last single I have that I can remember to find is Let Me Introduce You to the Family. All these songs are great. Great, great songs. So rest in peace, Jet Black and, and Bruce. Palmer, is it? People who um, enrich our lives through their art. I appreciate them, and I know that many of you appreciate them. Music makes life so much better. I'm going to leave it right there, folks. Take care, and as always, let me know what's on your mind.